Cloak.com booth with uh, Peter Sagerson, and he's going to tell us about a pretty cool VPN app, personal VPN app, right? Yes. yes. And uh, it's called? Uh, Cloak. Getcloak.com. So uh, what is it, why would somebody need a personal VPN? Well, if you use a laptop or a device at a coffee shop, airport, hotel, any place with an open network, you're pretty much broadcasting all your data to everyone around who's there. So uh, what we do is on OS X, if you're running this, our app, it'll notice you're on an unsafe network, automatically connect and give you a secure connection out to the internet. So how does it know what's an unsecure connection? Well, by default, any Wi-Fi network without a password is considered unsafe. And you can actually tighten that down and consider all Wi-Fi networks unsafe except for the ones that you know about. So if you have, like, say, your home network, you know that's safe, how, you, what would you do to let it be allowed? Sure. Well, it's just in our preferences. Just hit a little button and it'll add your home network to the list of uh, known safe networks. So is there a downside to running over the personal VPN all day long? <clears throat> well, uh, you'll see a small performance hit. Uh, if you're doing just typical web email activity, you won't really notice. If you're doing big downloads, then you'll notice a little bit of a change because you are going through an intermediate server. And uh, you also mentioned you do have data caps, so you probably wouldn't want all your surfing at home to be on that. Right. It's not really meant for that. There's no real benefits using it at home. It's just for when you're on the road or out at a coffee shop or a hotel. Okay. And I, I mentioned the data caps, but you said they're quite high. Yeah, the basic plan is $7.99 a month with a 20 gigabyte data cap. No one really runs into that. Yeah, okay, yeah, even I'm not going to hit that. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. So uh, how does it work? What do you do? <clears throat> well, we, technically this is in the personal VPN space. Uh, a lot of people know what that is. The difference with us is that most companies will give you an account and then tell you to download software over here, and then you have to configure it. Uh, maybe it works. If it doesn't, no one can really help you. We do the end-to-end -end solution. So we run the back end, we write the client. You don't have to configure anything. Uh, automatically knows when it needs to connect, <clears throat> automatically finds the best server from our global network to use. So if you're traveling, you're on the road, it'll always give you the best connection. Now, you said $7.99 a month. Can I buy just a month at a time when I'm on a trip? Uh, right now, it's a subscription. You can always buy a month and then cancel. And we're working on other plans for uh, travel packs. Yeah, I think that might be a good idea because there's times I need it, but a lot of time I don't. So that might be pretty cool. So is the setup interesting to watch or not so much? <laughs> well, so. The goal of this product is, is to be basically invisible, to not get in your way. So you really don't have to configure it, you don't have to do anything to set it out. So is it an app you run on your devices? Yeah, on OS X it's an app you can download from the website, uh, and you just uh, you, uh, type in your credentials from the account you created, and that's the last thing you have to do. Uh, on iOS you download the app from the uh, App Store. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. So it's iOS and, uh, and your Mac, and uh, do I have to buy an account for me and a separate one for Steve? <laughs> uh, not necessarily. It's uh, Yeah, it's one account for all of your devices, any device you want to use. Uh, okay, cool. So, I mean, that wouldn't be rude if I let him use it? <laughs> that would be fine. <laughs> all right, well, thank you very much. Appreciate your time. Thank you.